beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed dwells that um it seems God is doing business with them as far as the dispensing of his life and power and truth. They seem to be pivot in what God is doing. And yet there are others who are Christians, believers, but they always seem to be out of God's program. It looks like they don't weigh so much as far as the agenda of God is concerned. And this has brought a lot of frustration in the body of Christ because a lot of people have gone into different kinds of spiritual exercises in an attempt to upgrade themselves to become usable. But then I think that the true ingredients required to carry the power of God to be relevant as far as the move of God is concerned many people do not seem to sustain it so i want to just talk on three things and then we'll pray hallelujah i've seen people pray for days and hours had vigils in an attempt to get the anointing in an attempt to gain spiritual power in an attempt to access the mysteries of the world and while that is not um it's not useless but then for many people, their disappointment is that at the end of all of that program, there is still a void and there is still a barrenness. Are we together now? So they fast. They add fasting to it. I mean, there is no time in the church where men fast and pray as it is right now. Are we together? There are ministries that literally do vigils every day. Every day. Marathon vigils for one month at a stretch yet you watch the quality of the believers that are produced from that experience and it's a cause for concern there are people who are i would call them fasting giants hallelujah and there are people who have stretched their human capacity from border to border i know a man who i prayed for who fasted for seven days dry dry fast i don't mean maybe you take juice later on and then you keep moving dry like nothing touches your mouth not even a toothbrush this is how people have stretched in the spirit in an attempt to be used by god the highest i've seen in my life is someone who fasted for 400 days 400 days non-stop hallelujah i rounded the 400 day with him and i prayed with him but as far as i know that gentleman is still searching desperately for the power of god till now what then is the missing link please pay attention to what i'm about to teach you because for some of you this will be the key 
that God will hand to you. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. in the series of the pursuit right now is searching for the vessels that carry the anointing. I mean once you are anointed you are in trouble. Everywhere people see you whether in the market somewhere I mean there are all kinds of skills that are employed from those who fly and hold your leg and say kill me but let the anointing drop to those who will drop a seed those who will use handkerchiefs to clean your shoes. Now I'm not, I'm not against um the expressions of their passion but i'm saying that people are desperate for the power of god and the glory of god but it looks like god is mising the power it looks like there are people who are saying lord empower me i mean give me this miracle working power this ability and 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 all of that i know so many pastors so many ministers who cry for the grace and the glory of God upon their lives. They want his presence to be experienced in their meetings. This that I'm about to teach you, the Lord taught me 10 years ago as the secret of his sustaining presence and power upon the life of a man. The Lord told me to do this and his presence and his power will remain upon my life and by the grace of God I have followed this thoroughly I have struggled to teach what I'm teaching you people this night because I've taught us that it is wasteful to supply information to people who are not spiritually prepared to receive hallelujah while I saw the gentleman who came and said they came all the way from Niger State and the ones from Makodi I am very humbled to see what God is doing through these messages within this country and in various parts of the world. But there is a secret to it. This is what I want us to understand. There is nothing that is happening that is a mistake. There's nothing that is happening that is haphazard. And if you will pay attention to what I'm teaching you, please, even those who are working, workers and all of that, do your work, but please pay attention to what I'm teaching you. Hallelujah. So why is the power of God absent? Why is it that God seems to be limited to do business with many people? It looks like, it's, it, it seems like one out of every 1,000 or 10,000 are the ones who are really mightily used by God. I used to think that it was because others were carrying out less or more spiritual exercises. But as I've grown in the things of the spirit, I've found out that that's not exactly the reason. Ready for it? Reason number one. Reason number one. I, I, I consider this... I consider this to be the fundamental determinant of the entrance of the anointing and the power of God in the life of a man your motif and your motivation your motif and your motivation let me tell you something I have found out over the years that the state of your heart is the greatest determinant of the power and the glory of God upon your life. Beyond your fasting. Beyond your prayer. Beyond night vigils. Beyond listening to messages. As important as those things are. 
the state of your heart overrides them all if you want God to do business with you. Now, so many people, well-meaning people, who want to see the miraculous power of God, they want to be mightily used by God, lack this one thing. The motive and the motivation behind their pursuit is corrupted from beginning. So every activity they carry out is corrupted on the strength of that foundational thing. Are we together? From those who seek God because they want to build a career around ministry. Those who have applied for jobs and it looks like jobs are not forthcoming. And they console themselves by saying, let's go to the vineyard and use ministry to build a career. Corrupted motive. Are we together? To those who desire the anointing to show their family members that they are not failures. You were growing up and they told you that you will be a failure in life. And now you're saying, Lord, give me the anointing to show my mother or my stepmother that I'm not a failure. As well-meaning as that motif is, it is corrupted. Are we together now? that's the reason why you find certain people they seem not to be engaging in as much spiritual activity in terms of physical exertion fasting prayer but it seems like god has so much interest in them he will go beyond their personal spiritual lives to demonstrate his glory upon their life motif your motivation I can tell you this and I tell you sincerely. Eight or nine out of every ten pastors and men of God that call me, send me text messages, sow seeds and are desperately looking for anointing and grace. Most of them, their motives are corrupted. Are we together? So I can go for 40 days fasting but God looks beyond the physical activity and he scans and judges my motive. This for me has been the ultimate determinant of the kinds of people that God does business with and that he will do business with in these days. Is God speaking to us? The state of your heart. Let's look at a few scriptures. John chapter 12. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel And ransom captive Israel Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel And ransom captive Israel Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to us, he's Israel. John chapter 12, it says, and Jesus six days before the Passover came to Bethany where Lazarus who had been dead who was raised from the dead and the Bible says there they made unto him supper and Martha served follow carefully but Lazarus was one of them that sat at table now let's watch something that happened and then Mary took a pound of ointment and anointed the feet the Bible says okay took a pound of ointment of spikenard pure nard very costly take note very costly then the bible says that she anointed the feet of jesus and wiped his feet with her hair are we together and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment and then something happened verse 4 and then one of his disciples a man called judas iscariot simon's son which should betray him he responded 
to that act of worship. Verse 5. Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? Now watch this. This is part of Jesus' ministerial cabinet. A woman comes and takes from her alabaster box according to one of the gospels and breaks it before his feet. Pure nerd. The Bible tells us it was her wages for one year and she took it and broke it at his feet and used her hair that is the glory of a woman to wipe his feet. And then when other people, when Jesus was looking at the motivation of this woman, the sincere communication of her appreciation, someone else was looking at the cost implication and the wastage. Are we together? But he never said you wasted this. He tried to angle it in a way that should look like he was concerned about the treasury of the house. Are we together? And this is what he said. Verse 5, please. Let's go back to verse 5. Why was not this ointment sold? So for him, you can still worship Jesus another way. Go and sell it. Bring the money. Let's add to the treasury. But his motive was so that he would have more money to be stealing. Are we together? It was never about Jesus. It was never about his desire to see his master exalted. Are we together now? Judas had no business. Listen, although he was a sincere person, he wanted to use Jesus. The moment he came and found out that there was a flourishing ministry, he looked at it carefully and saw the financial potentials that were in that ministry and he strategically positioned himself being elected the treasurer he found out that he could keep motivating people and the more they brought money to the ministry he would help himself so you would see judas at every crusade you would see judas attending to the poor collecting all the seeds to jesus you would look from that experience and say what a zealous man the first to appear in every crusade ground the one to respond to the necessity of jesus but the motive behind it was his belly are we together the next verse verse six this he said not that he what cared for the poor the bible says but because he was a that was his mo the motive he was looking for more money so he could steal so he angled it in a way that made it look like he was having an appetite for god the bible says and he had the back and bear what was put therein in other words if they changed judas from being a treasurer to an ordinary disciple and made thomas or peter the new treasurer all of a sudden he would not care about any sacrifice again are we together this is an example of the motive and the motivation behind so many people you would see them pray for the anointing as if they really love sick people you would see them pray for prosperity as though they really really want to help and bless people you would see them fast as they they pray for crowds and you would think they are really compassionate you would think they care so much about the people coming but at the heart of their pursuit is this self-centered demonic and many times satanic motivation are we together now how many men of god use the anointing use members use so many people to boost their ego and when they go around you see pastors gather to talk and you'll be amazed at the content of their discussion have you seen my members have you seen the jeep that this one bought for me there are 20 oil company workers in my church there are senators in my church there are this and that and that i mean we grew from 5000 to 20000 in one year great news but then what is the motivation behind it and so we use those things to scorn others we use those things to command honor when pastors come together the ones who seem to be having results or 
desirous of results seem to push others and sit in a position of honor that is not given by God. Motive. Motivation. Judas was doing what physically would have been a wise suggestion. I can understand his passion because he was in the finance department. Are we together? And so from financially speaking, it would have been a still a worthy way of worship to sell it and bring the money and then the money be given to the poor. But the problem was the motivation behind that statement. Not necessarily what he said. The motivation behind it was wrong. Brothers and sisters, you can fast all you can. You can pray all you can. You can carry bottles of anointing oil, carry handkerchiefs and mantles, go and fly on the man of God's bed and roll there from night till morning. When this adjustment of the state of your heart is not in place, forget about God doing business with you, especially in this end time. Are we together? Proverbs chapter 16 verse 2. Solomon, who was a wise man, said something that is very interesting. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 2 is projected. He said, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weighed the spirit. Can we have any other version? Just any other available one that renders something differently. The Lord tests the motives. He judges the content, the motivation. It says all the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes but the Lord weighs the spirit the thoughts and the intents of the heart. In other words, if I get up right now and I tell this lady to stand up and I lay hands on her and she falls under the anointing while you are clapping and say man this guy is anointed. God is not impressed with that experience until he scans the motive behind it. If the motive behind it was to prove a point to a few people that the anointing is still alive, that experience has been corrupted as far as God's standard is concerned. Are we together? You can raise 10 people from wheelchair and in heaven you raise only one. From the second to the last, the motive cancelled it by zero. Are we together now? Look, when you understand this, you will focus more on motive than physical experiences because it's difficult for men to discern because men judge by the outward appearance how many pastors frustrate themselves how many people frustrate themselves they think they want power they think they want grace but god has already seen the true content of their heart You will think when they are anointed, they will spend their lives serving God. You will think when they are anointed, they spend their lives. Listen, I go for meetings and thank God for the honor here and there. Different people have their ways of responding. And while I step into the meetings to sit down, I see all kinds of admiration. You see a lot of young people bouncing on the floor, happy and just wishing and say oh god give me what you have given this person and i can sense in my spirit the field of their motives they want to be celebrities and since they cannot run like you saying bolt since they cannot play tennis like the williams they feel ministry is a cheaper route to achieve the same thing and god says no sir no sir no sir anna wanted a child i've taught us she wanted a child so desperately but her motive was to prove to Penina that she also had a womb and she kept going to Shiloh to pray and God never had it. Listen, this is very scary. A woman who wanted to prove, she went to the house of God and cried and God said it's not enough reason for you to have a child until she gave up and said Lord this is not about Penina again. I align my will to you. She prayed once and a child came once 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 so many people want crowd they want power they want revelation 
80% of the text messages that people send to me, what is the secret of your anointing? What is the secret of your grace? What is this thing in these teachings that transform people? Let me tell you, it's beyond prayer. It's beyond fasting. The motif of your heart is greater. It's the foundation upon which any true spiritual experience is accepted before God. This already is a deliverance for somebody hearing me. Because it's, it's a call for you to find out. You have been engaging sincerely in many spiritual attempts. But you may never find the power of God until your motif, the state of your heart is aright. The sincerity and the love that you have for God and his people. The sincerity and the love that you have. How sincere is your motive? As far as God is concerned and the sheep of his pasture. The Bible says a good shepherd lays down his life. He does not stand on the sheep so that they will see him. A good shepherd is not one who prays in tongues. A good shepherd is not just one who walks in miracles. A good shepherd lays down his life, constrains himself, inconveniences himself for the success, the progress. How many pastors do that? How many pastors rejoice that God is lifting people? How many pastors rejoice? You see, when you understand this, you will at once, listen, at once. I remember one time, I think I was, I, I, I don't know where exactly, and we're sitting down and one pastor, I was talking with a group of pastors, and then somebody passed and then they tapped in and said, that's, that's Apostle, the Apostle Joshua Selman, you'll be hearing about, that's him. And he came around and sat down in less than 10 minutes. This man was telling me, oh, he bought his suit, so, so, so amount, God has been faithful in the ministry. They've been seeing all kinds of explosion. And later I asked the other person, I said, sorry, what is the membership strength of this church we're talking about here? And it was not even up to 35. Are we together now? So you see that this person came and was talking like this in hope to get honor and respect because he has been taught that when you try to create that picture and you package yourself, and make it look like, look, I'm an overseer. I'm not just a pastor. I need you to know that I'm overseeing something. You need to realize that there are people under me. There are pastors around. You say, oh, really? We see what God is doing. Please, let me advise you. Get out of those wrong and devilish associations. I'm telling you this. You may be criticized, but it's better to be criticized than do business with God. You never find me in a company of all this rubbish by the grace of God no I never look down on any man whether you are pastoring one church or two churches and I never give you any unnecessary honor whether you are pastoring one million people are we together now there are certain people here if God will give you one tenth of the anointing you are crying for God will have to summon prayer warriors to pray for your salvation, not even the church again, just to make sure that your salvation is protected. Are we together? So many people. We have seen many people. Let's use the music industry for instance. We have seen people who when they started, they, they ran around pastors pray for me give me anointing give me this and that and the moment god lifts them a little they change in a way that you will not imagine are we together now and you find out that their motivation is no longer the passion for god it is where honorarium will come where the paycheck is fattest is where the holy spirit is directing them are we together so if they give you a ministration in one small youth fellowship or where there are 30 zealous youths genuinely hungry for God and they give you another invitation in Victoria Island where you are flying business class are we together now and a Range Rover Sports is what is receiving you from the airport to the hotel 
and you sit down and calculate you say i've suffered in this life even god knows i've suffered in this life then you take all kinds of selfies and snapshots of yourself and send it and write on that god is faithful god is faithful yes but the motive behind that statement is corrupt what you are really saying is watch my life and be intimidated you are not saying you are just using a christian term are we together motif I watch with pain in my heart because I know that God is still looking for men and women there is no man of God that can bring the revival we are talking about single-handedly the best of any man is an effective member God is looking for an army not a person if it looks like there is only one person it's because many people are not ready it's not because God is mising his grace I tell you this so many people praying and crying use me oh god let me change my territory use me as an agent of revival all kinds of people trying to play all kinds of gimmicks to see the power of god come but when he searches their hearts he sees that their motives are not right how many ladies want to marry men of god you would think it's because they, are, they care about the burden of the vineyard. You would think they love the man and say, Oh God, let me live my life ministering to this man. The way they talk, you will be motivated. You say, you can imagine her passion. Have you eaten, sir? Have you really eaten? Are you okay? Huh? You have been losing weight these days. Are you okay? But the truth of it is, it's not any passion for any sheep. Is that the last time they checked their television and saw how mama looked, mama of whichever ministry it was admirable people will come and kneel down before you and say mommy just speak a word and drop a check and they say if this is what mama represents i'm, I'm up for it i mean i i take it with all gladness and gratitude so it makes the sister to always establish her presence in the prayer meeting when there is bible study the sister is there are we together when there is any fasting program she's there she comes fasting but holds cooler for the pastor now there's nothing wrong with cooler ministry it's very useful uh come on very very useful are we together so that i don't make ladies punish a lot of pastors from do what god has asked you to do to the man of god are we together when food finished for elijah when Elijah's food finished and water dried, God sent him immediately to a woman to take care of him. So that ministry is very biblical. Are we together? Motivation. How many people in church are looking for ordination and PA? So, and they are the first to come and greet the pastor in the morning pastor how are you i want to tell you what is happening in this church it's like you have been very busy but i've been covering for you i can i can tell you exactly what has been happening the last time you went there is a stubborn lady in the worship team i don't know exactly it's not happening here i can tell you at least not not to this level praise the lord so i can give this example generally speaking and then once you talk you now say pastor uh there's a message that I prepared. Anytime you are not free, you are busy, I can always stand in for you at the conference or the crusade. You will look at this guy and believe that he's very zealous. The pastor will say, I really have someone covering my back. But it's because this person went and met his uncle and the uncle said the job is not coming. And he sat down and calculated and said, which one is the fastest route to establishment? masters phd i can start up a business it will take five years before it will be established but if i partner with this man i'm sure that in six months god will wipe my tears so he comes and you will find unusual passion are we together Motif. whenever you see a man who is very close to the anointing and never receives it his motive stopped him from receiving that's what happened to gehazi 
by the grace of God when you see the heads of departments of this ministry and many people and other people who are connected to this ministry when you look at the life of those who are connected in reality you even those who have never seen my face you will see a reproduction of grace I have met people in meetings I sat down and I thought I was hearing myself I was like my goodness who is this guy but there are others who are around the anointing around but their motive oh look let me tell you something about God he is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents hallelujah Elisha worked with Elijah for a very long time he would have been I mean um, um, Gehazi he would have been prophet Gehazi but you can see his motive one time Naaman came and when Naaman was healed Elisha told him to just go and carry all his goodies and go and Naaman like Judas you see it now Naaman said we can't let this thing just go like that and he ran after him and said wait my master just changed his mind can you offload some of these things i'll handle it and when he came back he just kept quiet like nothing happened and elisha looked at him and said was my spirit not with you sometimes members in church are really foolish if a man is really anointed and he can stand on stage and see what is happening in the lives of people what makes you believe he cannot discern your motive are we together when i talk to pastors and i counsel them and they bring me problems maybe them assistants um, other people around are fighting i look at them and i say come on now are you not anointed where did you keep the anointing do you drop it just at the altar can you not discern everyone say motive say it again motive your motive and your motivation sincerity is what is lacking in the body of Christ sincerity sincerity of motif is the reason why we have not seen the power of God in our lives sincerity of motif our motifs are perverted our motifs are corrupted I once met a pastor who told me he had met Benny Hinn one on one. When he told me he had met Benny Hinn one on one, I looked at his life and tears wanted to come out of my eyes. He thought it was a testimony. I said, I can't understand. What would I say? He said, Truly, he was in a program. He happened to be like a PA. Or some not PA, but you know those who and see, please, if you are close to a man of God, go back and start examining because proximity is not equal to connectivity. You can be the closer you are to a man of God, the farther away your chances of truly receiving the anointing. Because familiarity can step in. Are we together now? Beauty. I never get too familiar with the Holy Spirit. I love him. The Holy Spirit has revealed himself in uncommon dimensions to me. But at every point, I make sure that that sense of honor, that my motif is always aright. When I'm praying for a meeting, oh Lord, I thank you for your power and your glory in this meeting. He sees my heart and he knows that I'm not trying to look for a name. I'm not trying to look for fame. Are we together? When was the last time? Listen, and I'm talking to all of us, especially for those who are pastors. When was the last time your motive was aright? You see why David was called a man after God's heart? David would say, search my heart. Not search my throne. Search my heart. Try my thoughts. 
because my heart can be deceitful so many people have missed out on the will of God that's the reason why you find out that in many churches after a while people start fighting for the position that is most lucrative when you call somebody and say promise go and work in welfare Ken work in prayer department Mama, work in ushering. Mama says, ushering. It's me now that you are giving ushering. This guy is in prayer department. At least the honorarium, there's a possibility of honorarium coming. Welfare, there's no possibility of any honorarium coming. Are we together? Have you seen people lobby for positions in church? You've seen that happen? This is the reason. They find, you know how a funnel is. When you pour water, the funnel moves in a direction. And so they discern where the money or the honor is flowing. And they leech themselves around that place. And God sees their hearts. Says your motif is corrupted. i like you to in a very sincere way. Listen. Cry out and ask the Lord to search your motive for desiring his presence for desiring the anointing for desiring crowd for desiring revelation for desiring fame you want miracle power is up for grabs but the question is what is your motivation are we together very important come and make my heart your home come and be everything i am and all i know search me through and through till my heart becomes a home for you Come and make my heart your home. Come and be everything I am and all I know. Yeah, search me through and through till my heart becomes. When was the last time you listened to a man of God, his prayer content, and you had him praying and crying for the sheep? Oh God, bless these people. Oh God, increase them. If it means that you don't lift me and you lift them, go ahead, oh God. Sincere motive, sincere desire. Oh God, I'm a shepherd. They can die, but let me live. That's the prayer of many people. That's the attitude of many people. I pray for you. May God touch your motif and bring you to a point where you are very sincere. Many people watch Johnson Suleiman and watch all the prophets who move in very uncommon levels of the revelatory dimensions of prophecy and you see the desire you see the desire you i mean you see the hunger every time they say a man of god is coming to town you see so many people they go and sit in front you would think they want the anointing for a clean motive sincerity that's what i shared with the pastors I told them many of you are not sincere it shows it shows in your discussions it shows in your your secret lives that you really do not love the sheep it shows that you don't care about them every time I come in for koinonia and I see crowds of people and I see people standing if I see just one person standing I can feel it in my heart Sometimes I'm almost quarreling the protocol department and they say, look, we are doing our best. There is only so much we can do. I, I feel as though I should stand 
and let the people I, I just would not interrupt the work of the various departments but I see it especially when we are done and I see people leaving and while we are going and I see some people trekking in groups happily through the night my heart is moved listen compassion is a big key to working in the anointing compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people it's the secret to the anointing are we together if Sam is sick right now and I come to Sam and I lay hands on Sam and Sam is not healed I lay hands on Sam and Sam is not healed I will carry Sam by myself to Shika because I am so interested in his healing my ego notwithstanding but a pastor who is more concerned about his ego would rather leave Sam to die are we together so that it will be through his hand how many pastors have quarreled members for receiving miracles in other places aside from their church are we together how many people will dare not give a testimony about what God used another man of God to do in their life before the overseer he says so you are trying to say I'm not anointed now honor your man of God respect him don't come and cause trouble between pastors but at the same time any man who is desperate for change in people will celebrate that change even if it does not come through him because the most important thing is that the people have received many of the testimonies we give in our churches were not carried out by the hands of many of the pastors that's the truth about it but it's just that the people know if they testify and say the whole truth the pastor will note in fact it's not even the pastor there is already a system to punish disloyalty are we together motif motif and some of us in our little groups and fellowships is already happening to us right now the moment somebody comes and says wow god bless me with this revelation and it did not come from you all of a sudden you start looking and say how oh, are we sure it's correct let me see it motive if what you want is celebration and being a celebrity if that is your prime if you just want celebrity please go and act for him if you want the anointing if you want to serve God genuinely your heart must first be to him and to the sheep of his pasture I worship you great I am you are mighty in this place I worship you King of Kings you are the strong and breasted one I lift my hands in worship as I see praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I see praises to your name. Listen. You must love God and align your motif. I say it again. Align your motif for desiring the gifts of the Spirit. Align your motif for desiring power. You want access to revelation. Align your motif. Align your motif. Motif is the core behind the dispensing of graces unto people what is the state of your heart I know you are well meaning but what is the state of your heart sister it's not like God cannot give you a great man of God to marry but what is the motive behind your heart if the motive of your heart is to serve God 
and to stand by that man to be a blessing to partner with him to lift up the banner of Christ in the nations I guarantee you God will not withhold it from you but if your motivation is that you just sit down and just smile around and look like you are more than other ladies and so Ankara and all of this you will never let me just tell you you don't even have to pray about it I will help you answer the prayer now it will never happen that way because God is not a fool I want you to know that kingdom advancement is a serious business to God he gave the blood of his very son for it and so anyone playing games with the anointing closely related to this i want to share with all of us a big secret before we go to point two. i began to pray recently and i was asking the lord why many miracles that happen to people in the body of christ don't last and the lord showed me something that scared me i want to share with you this everybody say money shout it say mammon the Lord taught me a mystery that I want all of us. Please open your eyes and let me teach you something. Watch this. If I'm holding money, so I have your attention now. Come, sir. Watch this. If Michael is sick or in need of breakthrough or he's trusting God to wipe his tears in any area, are we together now? And then he comes to meet me as a man of God. And I tell him, Michael, give me 1,000 naira and I will pray for you. And I will sow a seed. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord Jesus, you just cancel that spiritual transaction. Anointing will never, has never been an instrument in exchange for money. Are we together now? I can bless him. Listen, let me tell you why many people, especially many young pastors and young prophets, are fraud. Their, their lives look like they are fake. Some of them are not fake. The truth is that they are violating this law because you never buy the power of God. No, sir. It's God speaking to us. I can bless him and he decides to sow a seed into my life he can use the money and buy a tape or buy a book a pastor can challenge people in the church to sow seeds for a project that's all right but where the money is in direct demand so that you will supply anointing is called witchcraft if you are doing it here stop it now let me tell you now stop it not later now stop it between you and god let it never happen you will never see the power of god that way remember in the book of acts the gentleman who wanted to buy power from peter and he said your money perish with you pastors have reduced themselves and reduced the potency of the anointing of the spirit i know we need money ministries need money don't get me wrong i know I know that pastors need money. They have families. But not to compromise with the anointing. The anointing will bring you money. Big time. People will surprise you. But it's not going to be this way. Are we together? All those things where you carry offering basket. And as I heal you. You drop your own whether you call it free will or whatever if it came in demand for the anointing brothers and sisters if you ever saw result it was the mercy of God not a justification of what happened this is one thing that I've seen that is eating people in the church you do not use the anointing for merchandise no you will be blessed you will be changed look let me tell you bless people and allow them to decide to honor you they will surprise you how much can i charge you for a breakthrough how much can i charge you for miracles let's assume that you receive a breakthrough and then you i ask you to pay me ten thousand 
20,000. Let's even assume that I ask you to pay me 50,000 and you bring it. I have received wages, not favor, wages. But by the time I bless you and I leave you to the God that sent me, he himself will move you and you will come with one million naira, ten times what I would have demanded and you will bless me. It's impossible to be a true servant of God and bless people without God moving them to bless you. It's No, it never happens. If nobody is blessing you, it's because your anointing is not notable enough. Are we together? This is one of the reasons why many people are rushing into ministry. Because it seems like it's working. Someone gets into ministry and in four months, he has ten jeeps. He raised offering for himself. And ten people gave. And there are rich people. You see, people are desperate. So whatever I said, I beg, please take the jeep and heal me. I'm tired of all this trouble. But God is watching. And you find out that they rise and never get to certain levels. And God says, I can't take you international with this attitude. You will misrepresent me. Your motive is corrupted. There have been times when people have sown seeds in this ministry. Especially seeds of kinds. And when they bring it, because I never use them. But I just bless them and we release it. Sometimes we give it to people. Sometimes we honor the workers with it. I look at it when I see maybe especially gadgets or some things and I find out that it's very expensive and we get to find out that the owner most probably is a student or whatever I'm even moved and I say ah this is a student probably the parents bought this for him we appreciate the sincerity but I have not once not twice I've asked the protocol department look for the owner of this and bring and I pray for the person bless the person and give the person the gift back for many of us, your hand is in a mode to collect consistently. It doesn't matter how it comes. No. That's not the way God blesses people in the kingdom. Is God helping us to examine motives? Motives. How many pastors have troubled rich men in their church? visitations every day you would think the visitation is because of brotherly love what sort of brotherly love you pass 12 members who are your members but because you know that you will take kunu or zobo or or maybe um whatever it is they just find something or cold water that is not honoring enough and then you go and keep inconveniencing some other people and tell them look uh i came with a word this word is very strategic let me see a seed I need a seed to, to provoke the anointing. The anointing is provoked, yes. But it's provoked out of revelation, not demand. Are we together now? It is true that you can bring a seed to a man of God. When Isaac was going to bless his sons, he said, make me venison. This was talking to, it was a fatherly blessing. It's not just that he was saying, come and buy my anointing with venison. He was saying, honor me with it. I've taught you the law of honor. But this thing of demanding money for power anytime listen it's not even every giving that is worth collecting when you discern that that giving is like selling your birthright you honorably decline there are people who give you in such a way that the day you as you collect it you throw away your honor preserve the how much is 10 naira how much is 20 naira tea and bread and you lose everything because of it Praise the Lord. Don't get into that attitude of wanting to buy anointing. I hate the way we talk about money all the time in church. It, it can, I mean, have you seen men of God who preach a very solid message? Solid message. And when the spirit of the people are lifted, it, it just now coins, it says in conclusion, there's a story and uh, immediately the people start getting uncomfortable because they know where he's going to say I can't end this, this meeting without you hearing this story because this story would demand a, a response there was a man and then so on and so forth and they tell you all the story and at the end of it the man now says A, B, C, D, E, F, G 
all of that and um, you I'm going to bless you stand here with 5,000 not if God is leading you or if you are led to sow 10,000 you you are a rich man you can't bring 5,000 for me stand here with 10,000 and the moment you start doing that you may not be fake but you are driving the, fi the, fi the fire of God from your life and if you don't take time it will become Ichabod the departure of the glory that's why certain men of God eventually you find out that the grace of God just diminishes in their life you would think they did not visit the Baba they used to visit it's not Baba anything it's just scriptural principles that they have violated say in the name of Jesus I receive grace to be sincere and to be true I open up my heart and I ask the Spirit of the Lord to examine my motif. How many people pray for hours because they are trying to intimidate others? They are tired though, but because they saw another colleague, they fire on. On a very good day, they would have rested if the person is not there. I've seen people who pray and they are sleeping. Once they hear the door, they just stop shouting. To mean you should come and see me in the look, 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 look. Don't play games with the anointing. You must be true if you want the power of God. Number two. You want to carry the glory of God upon your life. Your level of passion and hunger for God. Your level of passion and hunger there's a song in my spirit she's your mentor now come and sing it if you know spirit lead me where my true let me walk upon You know the song? That's the song that is in my spirit. Sing it to him. In the presence of my Savior, Spirit lead me where we are born. Let me walk upon the water. Sing it one more time with all your heart. Where my trust for you is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters. Your level of passion and hunger. Brothers and sisters, seeking God is a full-time pursuit. There's nothing like part-time seeking God. Are we together? No, you don't seek God part-time. You don't seek God with your spare time, sorry. You don't seek God with the remaining time you have. After you make money, after you marry, after you give birth to children, the balance of it, you now say, oh yeah, God, take. No, no, no. The jealousy of God fights anything that is above him. Even if it's what he gave you, he will still fight it. Listen, God can give you a thing that he will still fight it tomorrow. The moment it rises above him, his jealousy begins to fight it immediately. When the Bible says God is a jealous God, take that word very seriously. your passion psalm 42 verse 2 
Listen, pursuit is the proof of passion. Pursuit is the proof of passion. Every time you have passion towards anything, you will seek it and pursue it unsupervised. Unsupervised. Do you know why the Christianity of many believers is cold and lukewarm? Let me tell you the truth. They do not have passion for God. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? This is the psalmist. A psalm communicating passion. Are we together? If this is my wife, if this is my wife, watch this, and I travel for two days, if I'm not a foolish and a stupid man, what should happen to me while I'm away? If I really love her and I'm passionate, I should miss her, Abby. When I'm about coming, what should happen when I see her? Will I just pass and say, how are you? I'm back. You know there's something wrong immediately. Are we together? When relationship and fellowship is in place, I should run and give her a big hug and say, sweetheart, I missed you. How are you? Just me. What has happened? Passion. If a call is coming, I ignore the call because I'm trying to communicate passion. If you must be prompted to love God and to seek God, it's because you are not passionate enough. Anything you are passionate about, you have time for it. My brother, that's why this night after Koinonia, as late as it is, you are still going to escort the lady to her room. The reason is because you have passion. Are we together? There are brothers after Koinonia right now. They will even enter bus. There is a fire they themselves cannot explain. They say, let's go. What is bus? It will kill the time we have for our discussion. And the lady stands. Brothers and sisters from here to North Gate will look like five minutes. And they say, we are even here. That's passion. But let, let me tell you to escort somebody you don't have a man. Let me ask you to escort your colleague. By the time you get to that shop, you say, are you biking or we are walking? Because you love the person, Jesus' brotherly love, but there is no passion. That fire is not there. Have you seen a lady, 12.30, the guy is shaking and he says, let me try flashing her. He flashes once and she picks. He says, I'm sorry. Let me start by apologizing. He says, for what? He says, I, you, you sound sleepy. He says, I was just stretching. But the truth is, she was sleeping. Everybody say passion. Say fire. fire. That's the name of that experience. If you don't have that thing, listen, listen. If as you are sitting down right now, this is not your feeling for God, you need a retreat. I'm telling you the truth. It's a sign don't wait until you see any demon or anybody chasing you in a dream. You need a retreat very quickly. Fire. That's what it takes. There must be an obsession. That's the word, really. If you are not yet obsessed about God, forget about His power in your life. It must be an obsession. And, by the way, let me digress to help you test whether you are ready for marriage with the same feeling. If you love the man and the woman in a lesser sphere, careless, easily replaceable attitude, please seek counsel because you are about to get into trouble. Are we together? It takes passion and fire to give excuses. Have you seen people who have passion for anything? They give excuses. Watch how people act and treat football. Man you is about to play match 3.30. By 2 o'clock, the person is there with singlet. Already arguing. Are we together? Arguing one hour before the time. And then they sit down in the place of argument and they say, if you did not start watching football from 1993, don't join us. Because you don't even know what it is. We need somebody with a historical perspective. And they are arguing. And the person is mentioned. It's called passion. The moment the match starts, the person is in front. Sweating but remaining there. Thirsty but remaining there. Are we together? A point comes, there are guys, there are ladies who will still remove his shirt and say, I'm not going out. This sweat, we will die here with this sweat. I must watch this match. It's called passion. 
Now come to the house of God and see the coldness. The coldness. The coldness. When an average believer tries to show that I'm a little serious with God, we just say, Pastor, are we together? Or Mama. It's a shame. Bless you. It's a big shame that we even resent people for being passionate about God. Until your love for God makes someone around you uncomfortable, you don't love God enough yet. That someone can look at you and say, Kai, oh, well, carry your madness and leave my presence. Every champion is a fanatic of whatever he's excelling in. Are we together? Less as fair, lukewarm attitude in everything is even why people fail generally in life. There is nothing in life that is worth their unflinching pursuit. I'm chasing after you, no matter what. You know the song? I will keep bringing songs that I, my spirit, I don't know the song so much, but if you can help me, any one of you, if you don't know it, I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do, because I need you more and more, more and more, more and more, more and more, more and more. It's important. To what degree do you seek him? Let me tell you something. God has become my obsession. When I say an obsession, I don't know what he has done to me, but I pray he will do it to you. Amen. Believe me. Believe me. It's an obsession. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. It's an obsession. You must get to that point. Before you want a man's anointing, you must meet the standard of his level of hunger for God. No, anointing does not just flow carelessly. Don't you think because you are touching something? No! Bishop Oyedeko said the secret of um, the hand of God upon his life is his heartbeat for God. More and more. More and more, more and more, more and more, more and more. Psalm 69, verse 9. Let me show you something very powerful. There is a term I've seen in the Bible, but I've hardly studied it. Hardly studied it. But I studied it recently and I was amazed. Everyone read Psalm 69 verse 9. One to read. For the zeal of thine house had eaten me up. And the reproaches of them that reproach you have come upon me. Listen, let me explain to you what this means. The zeal of the house of God has so eaten me to an extent I have become the same way they reproach God. They have transferred their resentment towards God to me. Because I have sought God so much, I am the closest expression to him that they can see. So the anger they have for him, they have transferred it for me. That's how much I love him. Hallelujah. Are we together? He says the zeal. This was a prophecy about Jesus Christ. The zeal of thy house has consumed. The zeal of thy house. That a man can be so consumed with the things of God. It has nothing to do with whether you are called into the ministry or not. Zeal. The zeal of the Lord's house. Makes you pursue him ruggedly. Listen. Listen. When was the last time you woke up in the night and you could not sleep again? Because you are thinking about the kingdom. You are thinking about his majesty. Something about him. Now you have me. 
and I'm forever changed. I've abandoned everything I've ever known. Now I surrender. My life is not mine. You are everything. Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. You are the first, the last, beginning and the end. In you I live and have my being. There is absolutely nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing compares to you. I don't know the other part, but you are everything. You are everything. everything is you. Everything is you. you are everything. Everything is you. Sing it to him from your heart. He is everything. He is everything. everything is you. Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. Until you love God more than money, until you love Him more than wife, more than husband, more than academics, more than job, more than promotion, more than children, you are not entitled to the glory of God upon your life. The zeal in John chapter 2 from verse 17, when they saw the way Jesus was walking and the way he was doing the things in the ministry and flogging people out of the temple, they remembered that the seal of the Lord, seal is like an anointing. It will drive you into places you never dreamt you will go. Seal. The same way you see a brother standing in the rain and rain is beating him and you say, sorry, why are you here? You say, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for grace. You say, is it compulsory? It's late. You say, please. If you will not support my agenda, leave this place. Because the rain is not in. Say, what is rain? Am I sick? It's called zeal. If you do not have that for the house of God, you don't love him. If coming for koinonia does not drive you, do you know? Every Friday is like a wedding day for me. I literally, as I sit down here, many of you would have noticed. I get blessed by the worship team, but I can't wait for them to finish their rendition for me to jump up and come. It's called zeal. I've been doing this for years. If I were pretending it, you would know it by now. There are times that I come directly from a meeting to Koinonia, but the passion and the fire is there. Food or no food. I pray for you that the zeal of the Lord will eat you up. That it will consume you. That it will make you passionate so that when you get a job you will not leave him are we together so that when you marry you will not leave him so that when you no longer have prayer points do you know it is possible god will solve your problem there is no personal prayer point what then will you do when he solved everything the reason why many people are drawing after him i'm telling you this sincerely is because of the load of problems they have If God solves all your problems, will you still seek him? If, there, if you're coming for miracle service, it's just to bring the prayer request of others. Will you still love him? I can understand why you love him because you need him for your defense next week. You need him for graduation. You are trusting you will manipulate the result in a way that you will leave it be in peace. So I can understand your sin. But what happens? Listen. You always know those who never had zeal for God by their commitment after God meets their needs. Not before he meets it. After. 
when a lady is looking for a husband desperately i can understand why you are around for night vigil but what if a husband comes and a rich one and then one month after your marriage you are pregnant every testimony you want has been given and to hell with god until another problem comes Shade is here with her kids raising them she's been like this for many years in this ministry way before marriage raising her kids her son is very interesting he can mimic me almost verbatim this boy you are saying take it or this and that and in his own little way but he's growing some of us it took the grace of God to drag you back to the house of God the money you got before has finished so you came you you came in the name of thanksgiving but the truth is you are only thanking God because you are aware that in the next two weeks whether you thank him or not there's going to be a problem and so you have come to the house of God I love him whether he answers my prayer or not I love him whether he ever anoints me or not Koinonia is too small a reason for me to love God. The results in my life are too small a reason. Fall in love with him to that extent. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Again and again. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Again and again. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Falling in love with you, falling in love with you, again and again. Psalm 63, verse 1 and 3. Fall in love with him and you will see his power in your life in remarkable ways. Fall in love with him genuinely beyond the need for things give me tea give me bread fall in love with him genuinely and i'm telling you you will see god answer your thoughts before they become prayer points psalm 63 oh god thou art my god not our god my god ellie ellie I'm so passionate about you. When I wake up, you are my obsession. And so I seek you early. My soul thirsts for thee. My body, my flesh longs after you. Do you know lust is a corruption of passion that should have been directed towards God? Lust. Lust. What you call lust. Immorality. Lost is misdirected and corrupted passion that would have been channeled appropriately to the rightful owner. But because the person is standing where God is, so you direct that passion towards the person. It says, my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Oh God, you are my God. I seek you early. I don't give you the remaining of my time. I don't give you the remaining of my time. When I do what I think is important in my life, then I carry the balance of the time and bribe God with it. And say, okay, Lord, please, so that I, you, don't, you save me from the guilt of feeling like I'm not seeking you. Most times when I go back after Koinonia, after everyone is done and I've eaten, I go down my knees and sometimes I cannot even sleep again. I just sit down and I begin to meditate on his faithfulness. 
and sometimes I can just begin to play worship songs and his presence, his presence, his literal Shekinah will fill that room. Fill that room. There is a secret. There is a secret. Do you love him or do you want to use him? God does not want an affair. He wants a relationship. I've told you. God does not want an affair with you. You can have an affair with a prostitute. You can have an affair with your wife. You have a relationship with your wife. An ongoing, continual relationship. But you can meet a prostitute for one night and never see her. Not even know how her face looks like. God does not want an affair. Many of us are giving him an affair. I tell you the truth. Tonight, God is calling us to the place of power. Calling us to the place of power. Number three, the third key to carrying the glory of God. Can we just pray in one minute? I just feel that we should just, just pray in tongues just for one minute. Just to open up our spirits so that we don't trivialize this that we are praying. Desire and I long to worship you. Oh, you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. I want to talk about the third point but the Holy Spirit is stopping me because these points that I've said enough God wants to do something in our midst this thing has pleased the Lord this thing I have taught I know when the Lord is pleased over something would you just pray and just pray in the spirit this is well pleasing to the Lord tonight it's an incense of worship it's a call for us to return back to that place. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs? Would you dance with me, oh, oh lover of my soul, yeah, to the song of all songs? Would you dance with me, oh, lover? To the song of all songs, would you dance with me? Yeah. You're the lover of my soul. To the song of all songs, draw the voices. Would you dance with me, oh, lover of my soul, to the song of all songs? Oh, he can make your ministry powerful, I tell you. Would you dance with me, oh, lover?
time. One more time. Yeah, would you dance me? This is the secret of my life. I love him and I pursue him. I seek him as a job. I seek his presence as a full-time assignment. Let me tell you the secret of power beyond your fasting and your prayer. Have a genuine motive. No matter how wrong you are, let your motive be true. No matter what you don't know, let your motive be true. Your motive is greater than your actions. Your motives are stronger than your actions. And then seek him. Seek him. You will see more miracles in your life by the act of his love. Listen, listen, listen. If these two kids are my children, by the time I'm done, you may not have the kind of access you want to see me. Is that true? Because you are coming to Apostle Joshua Selman. But if these are my children, they have no business with Apostle. All they know is Father. Are we together? They can watch you join a queue and just run. You see how our children come after Koinonia here. They don't come and join any line. They just pass you and rush to come and hug me. They are coming to hug their father. They have no business with whether whatever. To them is not apostle. To them is someone they love. Take away the unnecessary religion and the unnecessary formality. Come into that inner chamber of the spirit where only lovers come. Pass the place where prayer warriors stop. Pass the place where fasting giants stop. Pass the place where word carriers stop and enter the inner chamber. It's a place where only lovers enter. Even prayer warriors don't enter that chamber. Even fasting giants don't enter. The Bible says no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and it has not occurred in the heart of any man what God has in store for them that love him. Them that are obsessed. Listen. You will be sleeping in the night and his majesty will come and wake you and open you up to mysteries. While someone else is fasting, God takes his prayer point and gives you as a token of his love. Listen, in 2000 and I think was it six now or so, I had a vision. And when I had a vision, that was the first time that I saw a manifestation of the angel that walks with me. He's called the angel of the Lord's presence. Hallelujah. I have seen three of these beings. There is one, the name is Zion's help. That's the name of the angel. The helper of Zion. These are the angels that bring breakthrough. These are the angels that bring result. I, God is my witness. I cannot remember fasting and praying to say open my eyes give me prophetic oh I'm just madly in love with him Lord I don't know what you have done to me but I'm in love with you and God says I see your obsession and he says let me test that love what is it that you cannot give me and I say Lord the stage is yours carry it whatever you think in my life is standing your place take it and God says truly I see the proof of love is that there is no there is no hiding anything are we together the apex of love between a husband and wife is intimacy being naked and unashamed are we together if you do not get to that point where you can be open to god and naked and unashamed there is deceit somewhere in your relationship if i'm going out with you and i password some messages in my phone and I'm afraid of you accessing it. Listen, confusion is a sign that a deceiver is present. Are we together? Genuine passion. We are going to pray. God is going to visit us very briefly. But we are going to pray. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you.
to worship you, I leave. To worship you, I leave, I leave to worship you. it is it must wait lord give me you relationship can wait jobs can wait anointing can wait give me you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next five to ten minutes, there will be a very strange impartation in this place. This is why the Lord stopped me. And listen, aside from several activations that will happen, one of the major impartations that will happen in this place is the anointing to fall in love with God in strange ways. Listen, listen. Many of you, what will happen to you tonight, it will become as if you have become a madman. Something will come upon you. Something will come upon you in dramatic dimensions, proportions that you have never seen. It's a dimension of love. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you Falling in love with you Again and again I keep falling in love with you I keep falling in love with you Again and again I keep falling love with you I keep falling in love with you falling in love with you one more time yeah I keep falling in love with you. more than ministry more than the desire for power more than the desire for fame and greatness Lift your hands. I tell you, something mighty will happen to you. The zeal of the Lord. 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 The zeal of the Lord will consume you. It will eat you up like a cancer. As I begin to sing, it will be like an impartation from my left to my right and outside. It's like an initiation to a realm of love. And now I am desperate.
desperate for you go ahead oh great one and bring your seal upon people and I, I pray let a strange anointing fall upon your people at the count of three there will be mighty impartation love for God it will come heavy upon you one two three take it now take it now take it right now right now right now right now right now everywhere in this place take it right now fire is a fire and a seal for God is a fire and a seal for God a fire a passion for the house of God a passion for the things of God Just a few minutes there's an impartation happening to you your love for God must be real it must be genuine it must be genuine it must be genuine ask him to give you a baptism of love for him love for his house Lord, let there be an awakening in the hearts of your people. Cry for the zeal of the Lord to come upon you. ask him Lord let your zeal consume me let your zeal consume me let your zeal consume me
lift your hands lift your hands I hear my spirit visions and dreams visions and dreams a mantle for visions and dreams prophetic encounters that will take you to the secret place Lord right now where are those people let that mantle fall upon them visions and dreams take it now take it now take it now take it now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus visions and dreams you will hear his voice in the night visions and dreams Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing my spirit, spiritual accuracy. Spiritual accuracy. Especially for people in ministry. Please lift your hands. Something mighty will happen. God is about to end confusion in lives and mysteries. There is a mystery of spiritual accuracy. My God, I pray right now. Like a mantle. Like an anointing. That gives precision. As many people. Who are supposed to walk in this. Wherever they are. In the name of Jesus. Visit them right now. 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 Zion's King Kadosh, Kadosh You are mighty on your throne You reign You ancient Zion's King Kadosh, Kadosh You are mighty on your throne Oh sing Thou fountains of the deep Cry out, God, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou spirit of the deep, and we God, you are mighty on your throne. 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 Paul, who was Saul, was on earth, but the earthly ministry of Jesus did not affect him. It was till Jesus went to heaven and then he had several encounters and came. So that a man is anointed, it will be arrogant to just guarantee and imagine that everybody will be touched by your anointing. It's not true. These are very deep spiritual mysteries. Jesus said, John 17, listen to what he said. He said, all that you have given me. That means there were some that were not given they were given to his salvation but not his earthly ministry they were given to be benefactors of his salvation as the lamb of god but they were not given to be partakers of his earthly ministry all that you have given me listen he was giving god a report he says all that you have given me i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and it's not because i was careless he was lost so that scriptures might be fulfilled people of god i want you to believe god and trust god tonight if you carry your problem and come and carry your anger and annoyance anger does not give miracles oh my stupid husband my stupid wife no you are going to come with your heart open and say lord i know I know it is within your power and you 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 are receptive receptive to prophecies receptive to instructions receptive to the move of God that when his power comes close to you you know that Lord this is it I've gotten my miracle 
testifying is not magic you program your spirit to be a benefactor the anointing of the spirit can come and pass a place and you can stand as though it never located you is that true but there is a way you can position your spirit it's called faith first your conviction a, a sense of certainty that God will touch me the program was tailor made I was talking with the protocol while we we're coming and I was telling him that from start to finish of our programs especially the miracle service everything is designed to make sure that your miracle does not escape you from the opening prayer to everything to the nature of the prayers the miracles then prayer requests then everything and then still after the service i stand to see people is is a design to make sure that everybody receives don't let the devil mock god in your life you are going to insist and say lord i believe you lord i believe you now let me tell you something with satan because satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh he knows that the way he destroys your faith is to supply informations around your life that are very obvious is that true right now you are sitting down then he uses the pain and he says tell me man or woman of faith is it no pain you are feeling now and then you are tempted to say but it's true tell me man or woman of god is it not your rent issue you left at home is the landlord not waiting for you at home when you hear that kind of thing it just agitates you but people of faith say uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. i choose to believe it is in the believing the miracle will come i'm not ready to be distracted now it is in the believing that the miracle will come every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken tonight in this place there are people who are afflicted by all kinds of diseases some of you have had medical reports some of you have spent money in the hospital and it has become clear some of you were even recommended by doctors we thank god for the caliber of doctors we're having now they are spiritual people once they try once twice it's them who will advise you and say we will not stop you but mr man find a man of god quick are we together now there are people here sick with all kinds of oppression benihim calls sickness death limited death he calls sickness limited death that means if you are sick it's like a part of you has already died and it's true there are people here with all kinds of delays in need of major breakthroughs not everyone here is sick but there are people in need of all kinds of breakthroughs there are people here and many people do not know that the causes of their challenges are oppressions demonic oppressions demonic oppressions activities of spiritual forces in the lives of people programming repeated cycles of tragedy programming repeated cycles of tragedy there are people tonight in need of supernatural solutions solutions that only god can give job issues promotion issues health issues all kinds of issues it's not called a healing service it's called a miracle service a miracle service is an atmosphere where the multifaceted possibilities of God are allowed unrestrained. It's like a feast. If you are sick, then there is a dimension of him that can address that. If you are not sick but oppressed of the devil, there is a dimension of him. Now, it's important for us 
to understand how God answers prayers. Because many of us have been praying. We have prayed here over our issues. There are many of us, what you need tonight is prayers and wisdom. That is the answer that you need. Wisdom. You may not be sick, but a lot of your decisions may not be accurate. And you will need a supply of wisdom or higher wisdom. Number two, there are people tonight, the miracle you need is grace for obedience. Grace for obedience. Grace for obedience. That spiritual inertia, that reluctance to rise up, responding to your conviction, is what has kept many of us where we are. There are people tonight, your prayers will be answered to deliverance. There is no discussion. You don't need counseling. You need those spirits out of your life. And the legal basis, not just the spirits out of your life, but the legal authorization that keeps them in your life, keeps them in your family. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is healing for your body, healing for your soul. Do you know, years ago, I didn't pay so much attention to what people call emotional healing. I felt it was very feminine and for lazy people. Most, I, I felt any serious person needed physical healing or spiritual healing. If you needed emotional healing, you needed orientation too, but it's not true. Um, emotional healing can be more painful than physical healing. Are we together? The Bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones where the life of a man is carved out. There are people in need of all kinds of healing. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is repentance and forgiveness. That's how God will answer you. You need to forgive and you also need to repent. That's your miracle service tonight. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is prophecy. You need a prophetic word. You need a direct prophetic word that addresses your issues. No long story, no discussion, alongside the creative power that flows through prophecy. Pay attention. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is an impartation of favor is very clear that if favor came into your life you would not be where you are favor there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is a direct impartation greater fire greater unction greater activation of the gifts of the spirit greater activation of of a higher capacity for spiritual things There are people tonight, your own miracle service is an introduction of the mercy of God over your life and situation. Everybody here will receive tonight through one or more of these means. A supply of wisdom, grace for obedience, deliverance from spirits, healing, Repentance, forgiveness, prophecy, favor, impartation. Your assignment is to be sensitive to when your word comes. You see that? Like the lady who was already shouting while the meeting started. Something is already happening to her, you see. God is already doing his business with her. For someone in the overflow, you may be in maybe overflow three, overflow three, the fence is covered and they almost cannot see me directly except through the screen. Doesn't matter. The only thing you benefit standing close to a man of God is convenience. In the realm of the spirit. It doesn't matter whether you are here, whether you are outside, whether you are online, whether you are in any nation, doesn't matter the time zone. The most important thing is when your faith can connect to the anointing, then a supply of the power of God comes your direction.
tonight brothers and sisters i present to you a god who is almighty tonight i present to you a king that can heal that can change situations the bible says where the word of a king is there is power i present to you one who is not limited by our situations i present to you one who is loving enough to respond to you i present to you one who loves you enough to change your life i present to you one who can give you value for your time spent in his presence god is not a herbalist god is not a prophet he walked on the earth and manifested those things but he's god almighty i want your heart to be open tonight especially if you are here for the first time you may have come gone through all the rigors of the inconvenience to position yourself somewhere you must open up your heart to receive we have prayed we've partnered with god and god is ready to deliver that which is your portion in full in full in full not part of it remember the negotiation that pharaoh wanted he wanted to broker a negotiation and said let your wives go leave your kids behind and and moses said no way that's not what god told me everything must go plus animals so you're going to insist tonight that even if it's your hair falling god must come in and touch it don't say it does not matter why believe god in one area and not believe in another regardless of the area it is still the power of god that will solve it don't trust god to heal your body and then not change your financial situation no don't trust god to step in and deliver you from oppression and then you go back sick again do you believe tonight that the lord is going to step in and change your life truly speaking let me tell you this god has granted me the privilege to walk in dimensions of his anointing it still marvels me after many years of working in the anointing how the anointing works is still a marvel to me at how when the power of god truly locates someone how his life changes overnight overnight except it's not the power of god that meets you you won't know it will change all of a sudden you will see doors open my elder sister shared with me a testimony today she probably might be following online something that god did in her life and I'm not a very emotional person but I was almost fighting tears I says God already first of October a strange these are the these are the these are the kinds of miracles listen these are the kinds of miracles that when you hear if only one of it happens per year you are happy major miracles that can shift your life I said lord thank you because my family members are also partaking because they have to believe too that they are my family members does not mean they will believe automatically no the brothers of jesus kept watching him and he said don't be watching no release your faith some of you here are sitting you have cried in the secret you have cried in the open let this be your last cry are we together only god knows the pain that some of you are seated here with the level of pain you are you are seated that, see this is why we fast and pray and prepare because we will be wicked to allow people come some of you started your journey since last week you have come to come spend time spend resources no this is not a cinema hall this is not a place of games some of you have carried sick people. Some of you have carried sick bodies. There is a God that can reward. There is a God that can reward. Please hear me. I may not claim I know everything about God. But I know this God enough to know he's mighty. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing me for Listen. 
Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life. If it's not there, everybody will know. When it comes, we will also know. There were things that were not in my life years ago. When it came, I knew to the degree that brought it. Listen, tonight is the ministry of the spirit. I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result. It is the, the it is a how shall these things be? What is the dynamics? He said the power of the highest. That's how it happens. It has never changed. It is always an encounter with the anointing. Your, the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing. It is never faith that moves God. No. Your faith connects you to the power of God. Tonight I came with an anointing. There is enough grace. There is enough anointing. I tell you this. There is enough anointing if you will believe. There is enough anointing. Your situation is not the first. Your situation is, the, is not the first. Your family situation is not the greatest. There is nothing new under the sun. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hear me. The solution to your problem is in the anointing. Seek an encounter with it. When the anointing comes to you, that's the answer. That's the answer. Listen, listen. When the anointing comes your direction, that's your answer. That's God answering your prayer. I'm not talking about falling down. I'm talking about an encounter. The answer is in the anointing. Your faith only connects you to the anointing. Your life can change in a moment. Your life can change in a moment. God is a prayer answering God. He answers prayers by releasing his power. He sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received. Needed and received.
Make Answering God. The prayer answering God. There is a God that answers prayers. Koinonia, He answers prayers with His power. He answers prayers with the anointing. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing, Kato Soto Kata is answered prayers barakoto shoteke telekata the anointing is answered prayer it is by the anointing there is no other way it is by the anointing Please lift your hands. The Lord is going to do a very quick work tonight. I'm hearing people crying in the spirit. And the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed. Delayed by the power of darkness. I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay. Bring them out. I stretch my hands. Delay. Come on that judgment. You come on that judgment. Delay, delay. I stretch my hands. All the overflows online. Anyone here, any family under the spirit of delay, bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God breaking the chains of delay. 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 Bring them out. Wani Kamarda Kai. Papu. Wani Kamarda Kai. Delay over. Over forever. There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Break it now. Break it now. Break it now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketoko Sotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three, please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. 
those inside that building just look at me on the screen because i'm seeing angels moving at overflow three and i want to pray for you overflow three right now in the name of jesus right where you are in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number 24 24 people right at overflow three the lord is breaking delay breaking delay from them breaking delay right now breaking delay hallelujah there are still people listen i want you to believe in what god is doing i want you to have a testimony without an encounter with his power it will just be a religious service i promise you and you will go back it is the power of god the power of god is what draws the line hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family shakatosete shabrata skatapareketa they are here there is a family jesus shokos ketetosia help this woman sheketos keleketa yata tosikata there is a family this is not just an individual thing there is a family the power of god is searching for a family that the devil has kept 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 so that they will not rise hallelujah we are going to be fast tonight there are many things to do i want you to be sensitive the lord is showing me a vision now and i'm seeing a grave i'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave and i'm seeing an angel of the lord pull it out and the lord is saying this was done against the family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands whoever programmed the earth to fight any family tonight is a night of resurrection I decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family I release it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven i'm counting seven stones and the lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the god i serve in the name of jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances i decree and declare by the blood of jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of Jesus Christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow I stretch my hands now 
in the name of Jesus Christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance I command deliverance right now I command deliverance for that family now I command deliverance now when I was praying I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families and the Lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands I want to pray now I believe in deliverance I really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as I'm praying for you now I'm seeing a rope a rope I'm seeing a rope and the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what I want to do now I want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we're going through but I want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what I'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and see come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people i see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice now listen don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you it doesn't mean you are possessed no that's a different thing altogether some of you as you are here you are representing your family nothing may be wrong with you as a person but because of your family are you ready now lift your hands father in the name of Jesus you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of Jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice I send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three 
anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the holy ghost ancient spirits spirits that have been generational familiar spirits i command you now by the anointing of the holy ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now lift your hands lift your hands i'm seeing a number of ladies there are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of jesus where are those ladies fire is looking for them now i separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son He's here. where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god one please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad i want to pray for you you came believing eh august is it augustus i'm hearing the name augustus augustus is it augustus is it augustus augustine or something augustus please if that's your name let me just talk to you quickly I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that... My sister, come. This lady, this one, not you. You are not a woman, my brother. This, come. Lift your hands. Shout over. Over. Forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you? There is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son. And I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. It's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus. Over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel, Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine, come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine, I want to pray for you. Where's your family? 
My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel. Too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Year two. Year two. What is year two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or year two or year two? Something like that. Year two. Something that has to do with year two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Year two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Year two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But Yetu, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend. Look at me. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. There is a copper. Something is coming on you, my dear. Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family. But it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Oleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. 
Is there something like that? He said, what? Why are they coming out? What is, why are you? They named somebody after the idol. And the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is, it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying, this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale, who was, Ale, something like that. Ale, who, also. Who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Chris. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes, sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God you will be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, out of their lives now, out of their destinies now, Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical in I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. Jumai, 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 is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai, I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit spirit that I see in this family this is something that is older than older than old this is hundreds of years old but in the name of Jesus I'm praying now I use you as a point of contact I command that spirit you must go now hallelujah please just allow me this is Juma. I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. 
something is happening to a family right now let me pray my sister this is your first time here i want to pray for you hold my hands hold my hands don't be afraid as i pray for you the lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you in the name of jesus i hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down everything that has tied you down right now in the name of jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they i'm stretching my hands now and i'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as i stretch my hands right now i release the power of god to that family right now i speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of jesus There's somebody here, you lost your job in the month of March. March, you lost your job. Please, where is that person? You were working, but in the month of March. I want us to hurry up. I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time. The month of March. I don't know if you are, except if he's a person in his family, maybe overflow tree. Then they can just locate him. You lost your job. There's something, you lost your job in the month of March. Where is that person? Please quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You were a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you'll get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Huh? Sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. Bank. The same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people and since there was nobody to stand for him they joined everybody and threw them out but in the name of jesus whatever should not leave you and left you i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now hear me I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. Well, stand up, sir. You were outside. Yes, overflow three. Overflow three. Yes. You sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in hospital. Which As hospital? An Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Centers. So that you see. We don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job back to that place no 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 another job sir another job yes. do you believe if i pray for you god will give you a job i believe that. do you know why i'm prophesying to you in the open so that you will testify in the open too what's your name sir i'm paul 
Paul. Yes, sir. God will give you a job. Eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You will go and return with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get Kafa. To mama mu fara do a kijeki jirani agabako za miki adu I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression. Let it be over by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts. That's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds, out, lifting hands, bowing hearts. It's all we come to do. In your name. That girl, look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly, particularly, no matter what overflow you are in, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, don't come now. But when it's time to come, I want you to come. I want to pray for you by myself. But any other issue, those inside, I want you to come stand here. And then part of Overflow 2, maybe half of Overflow 2 can join them. Now Overflow 1, please you go to your projector stand. Overflow 2 and those spilling over at the roadside. You can move to the projector stand. Overflow 3. If God grants grace and there's time, I will just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together. Overflow 3, move to your projector stand. 
hallelujah and we are going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you are in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting god for a miracle i want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that i'll give you we are preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right praise the lord so let's do that very quickly very quickly please you're trusting god or you came with a sick person now is your time to come out please quickly 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 Jesus, we bless you. I don't know. You reign no more. Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. It's what we've come to do. Casting crowds. We are lifting hands, bowing hearts, it's what we've come to do. It's in your name, we will rise, I don't know, you ain't on high, it's in your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. You came with her? Yeah? In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, We'll coordinate, we'll make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue, just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over, maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. Ah, we have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um... Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Um, is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then... Um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father we agree in the name of jesus christ that for everyone we are praying for it doesn't matter who lays hands on them let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ let there be miracles the devil is a liar let there be miracles in the name of jesus put your hand on your stomach my dear 
I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We will need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in overflow three with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship him. You're going to give us, we're going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do what only you know how to do. Come and change my story. Give me a testimony Do what only you know how to do Can I hear you say do what only you know Do what only you know how to do Can you lift up a voice and say Do what only you know Do what only you know how to do Hey, I'm a change i change my story Give me a testimony do what only you know. Do what only you know how to do. Somebody say, Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. I say, Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. How to do. Come and change my story. Come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only. Testimony. 
Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more that should come quickly. Ha po koto pro koto sekete malaraba. Pray shekata barato. You ancient Zion skin, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion skin, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Mighty in this place. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here. I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer if you read it you won't even believe that it can happen but i pray the god who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request a representation of every man's pain here i call on that god answer by fire answer by fire father there are issues here that are impossible with men. Some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I prophesy, let there be strange miracles. Strange miracles now. For all those connecting from whenever nation, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you here. The same fire that is on this altar, through the internet, to your various localities, you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus. Every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted, we force them from their hiding places to appear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever must die for this request to be answered. In the name of Jesus, the ground opens and swallows them.
whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted we seize their peace and their sleep now hear me any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify may God answer their prayers this night the Lord is opening my eyes I know they are still ministering outside let's be patient the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing these trees it's like a representation of families hold on please I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families and I'm looking at it I've never seen a tree bringing out blood human blood but in this vision I'm seeing a tree but I'm seeing human blood this is like a representation of families I decree and declare I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of but I want to pray now I'm not prophesying I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation Lord I decree and declare wherever that family is right now in the name of Jesus may the fire of God locate that family now may the fire of God locate that family now the Lord is releasing an anointing hold on over people is for supernatural clarity and direction that's what I hear receive it now people are receiving it people are receiving it I prophesy clarity clarity God is answering questions now by the anointing if that fire comes on you you are receiving direction right now clarity clarity all the overflows clarity I release that anointing right now God is giving clarity listen I'm still praying it I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else should I start the project or should I stop every confusion and anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm praying for everybody but I'm seeing particularly overflow one an anointing for divine recovery divine recovery let me tell you something whatever leaves you can come back to your life are you hearing now there are people who have lost things I'm about to call it into your life now and as that anointing comes on you just know that it's your time of recovery Lord where are they where are those who have lost things that need recovery shakata kata kata shakata kata kata proskete kata everywhere 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 inside outside outside the grace for recovery the grace for recovery I release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you 
by bringing the anointing in your direction. That collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony. And all of a sudden, you will see strange testimonies happening to you. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a strong man in four families that God is clearing out of the way. Listen, listen. I don't say things like this lightly, but I'm seeing at least I'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people. They don't even know they are the ones. Where are they? Shakatos keta, brakatos gakatekatos. Inside and outside, whoever, in the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, any man sitting on anybody's destiny here, you want to rise, but they stop you. You want to move, but they sit on your glory. I clear them out of the way now. Listen. You should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service. Like this mama, you see that? The devil wants to kill this woman with cancer. Eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her. Your mother, you are the ones who brought her. Hold the mother and two of you come. You, two of you need deliverance first. Leave mama, come, come and stand. Someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit. I've prayed for her, but I'm looking. I'm, this is this your mother, two of you. I want to pray for you. Eh? What you need, I know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer, but for you, God must heal you first. You will need deliverance. Eh? I'm not saying you are witches, but I have to pray for you. This is the instruction God is giving me. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement. Therefore, I lay my hands on you. In the name of Jesus, fire over every wicked devil. In the name of Jesus, you came to stand in for your mother, but Satan has his own plan for you. In the name of Jesus, Kai. Wickedness is real. I held these ladies and the Lord showed me a vision. I'm seeing a man, a real herbalist, sitting down on the ground. And I'm seeing something that looks like a pot. They are writing names of people with blood. Blood, not chalk. They will write it and throw it inside the pot. Write it and throw it. This is an Igbo family. Write it, throw it inside the pot. Lord, I don't know why you showed me this vision. But in the name of Jesus... I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now? Who say now? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are who say now? What's your name? Huh? Who say now? I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too. 
Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You're, you're always saying that to I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command, let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must live your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cost. You start a building project, you finish after 10 years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I, I take it away now. In the name of Jesus. And I use her as a point of contact. If there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening. In the name of Jesus. I command whatever it is, let the fire of God come upon it now. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus. I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus. Favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now. So that you are into printing. You print like... Um, posters, whatever it is you design, you print banners, please who is that person I want to pray for you you are into printing uh, I will pray for you but the person I'm seeing I'm not saying if you want to do it, if you are currently doing it you are into it, for how long? since my, my child, was, uh, I was born into print. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina. Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here? I'm serving in Tagzara. In because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person would say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds, I don't know, well may not be so much money to you but i'm seeing something losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry i'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that you went and gave the job all of you are into printing what are you printing I'm into printing what printing books everything in every press books you yes. too your dad all of you, I'll pray for you. You are standing for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen something happens and destroys your life i have to pray for you where is your dad huh? he, stays in abuja. he stays in abuja that's where you stay too yes what's your name peace peace i want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of jesus daddy we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray every trouble we avert now you two you are into the printing where abu press. press yes you sir. work with abu press yes. Uh, you walk there now, it's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
grace on you. The one for Mina, I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. Hassan. You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart. When you are coming to the house of God, listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. Be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It'll be difficult for you to get many good things. <laughs> Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house. Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray it. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are into printing too. In the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor, but for a long time, this is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Django. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. 
the God we serve will change your story tonight in the name of Jesus you experience his mercy you experience his grace madam you are a tailor where Samaru market. Samaru market you have your shop yes sir I want to pray for you yes sir you are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need... You are a very good tailor. I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I, I'll send some people. That's what I'm seeing now. Yes, and there's a problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sow something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as God steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you, are one, you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory hold my hands you must go now to draw from you again again yeah. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there, you are ashamed. You understand? Sana, please. You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students. 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? I'm a student. Oh, you are a student? Yes. I'll be okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor? In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi, this lady, there's oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. You didn't come out for tailor. You came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the tailor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault. It's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do. I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you're in a relationship with this lady. And you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry. And then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your clothes or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you're a tailor too? Where? Yeah, 
it. Judge, I'll pray for you. You are a tailor too. Where? You are a natural state. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please don't don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you, are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you're a tailor or not, after this you don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs, you are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband, somebody's wife. It's not a good business. Prostitution, not a good business. Dirty business that has to do with ungodly things, no. No, sir. Let's be very sincere before God. But I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart. The power to prosper. The grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients, you don't have any customers. Some of you overnight, just by this prayer, by miracle service October, it will be like a dream. I prophesy to you. Some of you, you have the ideas, what you need is capital. I declare, let somebody rise up who is willing to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of jesus christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it god will use it to honor you i call somebody to buy it now in the name of jesus now i prophesy favor on everyone i decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my god make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus esther the village girl became esther the queen through favor ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became ruth the wife of boaz i don't know who i'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month i release it to you right now i release it to you right now in the name of jesus christ help that woman there please there are people from january till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened i stand before the god of heaven and i decree and declare may my god do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare i don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open i open that door for you right now i open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again i set you free right now help that i set you free right now in the name of jesus christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes i declare may the prince of peace may the prince of peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love god you are a well-mannered lady no husband i'm led to pray this prayer you don't hear me pray it all the time but i decree and declare every lady here ready for a relationship a godly one i call your husband to your life now every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of jesus the god that can lift a man from a dunghill may that god lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle i release the finisher's anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ all those writing exams shakatos kataprati alakatos in the name of jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well i release it upon you right now in the name of jesus christ
all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of jesus we give you admission here i don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it There are other people writing promotion exams. Others, there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their PhD work, research, you know, their thesis, whatever it is. Anything that has refused to come to completion in your life, I, re I release upon you grace for completion. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point and we are done. Give me two minutes. I need to pray for our spiritual lives. Some of you started well with God, but right now you need prayers. You need serious prayers. Prayer zero. Fasting zero. Word life zero. Passion for the things of God zero. You are not bad, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three take a fresh fire for your work with god take a fresh fire for your work with god hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with god and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, i've been praying but i've not seen result and you stop i release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting god as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting god it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from god whatever is drawing you away from god i call starting now listen we're rounding up god and prosperity can go hand in hand god and marriage can go hand in hand whatever must make you leave god to get it is of the devil may it live your life forever now keep your hands lifted the last prayer point god is looking for men and women of the spirit simple one minute prayers that will change your life now lift your hands i want to pray for something to come upon these hands listen mm. There must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry. This is a supernatural ministry. This is a ministry of signs, wonders, diverse manifestations. I will not end this meeting without this impartation. I'm praying now at the count of three. Let an unction, let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand. One, two, three. Take it now healing anointing take it now prophetic mantle take it now grace for signs and wonders receive it may your hands become healing hands may your hands become miracle hands deliverance hands favor hands hear me the grace to win souls like never before i know it's old school i'm both old and new school depending on the one that does not work soul winning is never old school the bible says he that winneth souls is wise i pray for you 
grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now the last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise every expectation you brought here whether i mentioned it or not i'm agreeing with you now within 24 hours let your miracle start within 24 hours let your miracle start those of you who came from far before you get to where you came from you will collide with miracle after miracle testimony after testimony hallelujah if there is anyone here in ministry a man of god a woman of god you have a fellowship you have a church i pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone, keep standing. You are here. Our time is gone. Everyone, please stand. You are here. You are worshiping with us for the first time. Overflow one, overflow two, and inside. This is your first time. Please make your way here. Overflow three, just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me. Let's honor them, Koinonia, quickly. hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of God to people. When you invite people, you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger. Yes, you increase them in numerical strength. But the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters. Hallelujah. For all of you who take out time to invite people, may the God I serve bless you. Clear the way for them as they come. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.